In the Ashanti region, several young people are standing in long queues eager to have their names captured in the Electoral Commission's register for the first time. The EC's regional office in Kumasi hosts five constituencies including Bantama, Subin and Nsiaeso. Among the crowd was Kinsley, a student of the Asantman Senior High School who travelled long distances under the scorching sun just to obtain his voter's ID card. He tells me his motivation. The, the main reason that we are here to select the right person to lead this country. That's why we are standing on this sun and just a lot of stress on here. But for me, my point is to vote for the right person. That's why I'm here. Kinsley had this advice for his peers. I think that they should be taking part. So far as we are youth in Ghana, for us to make the good empathy for Ghana or the good point for Ghana, we the youth that we should know what to do by having the right vote. So, so far as we want, if the Ghana economy is really bad for us, we, we, the youth, we need to vote for the right person so that everything can go well for we, um, the youth in Ghana or we the citizens in Ghana. Oh, actually, now I can see that everybody is blagging to just come on the top. So hard for me, as a student, I'll see the kind of process that we will be just taking, um, bringing out for us, we the youth, to know whether you are going to help us or not. So I think that for me, in, for me, I think that that's the way that I'm going to make it to vote. Yeah. Just like Kinsley, many of the young people express their intention to vote based on the policies and programs of the various political parties. Roland Dia is one of them. The only time I'm voting is that I'm not sure if I'm voting man or normal. But I say, what's one as a voting man now? Oh no, Sandy Pacon into me, only me, yes, Sandy Pacon. The only time I'm voting is that I'm not sure if I'm voting man or normal. But I say, what's one as a voting man now? Oh no, Sandy Pacon into me, only me, yes, Sandy Pacon. The only time I'm voting is that I'm not sure if I'm voting man or normal. But I say, what's one as a voting man now? Oh no, Sandy Pacon into me, only me, yes, Sandy Pacon. Yeah, most men pay on cost. The registration of first-time voters in Kumasi faced significant challenges, resulting in a nearly five-hour delay in the process. The Ashanti Regional Minister, Simon Osemans, have visited some of the registration centers to observe the process and confirm that the challenges had been resolved following discussions with officials of the Electoral Commission. What I've been informed is that uh, initially they were having challenges with the machines, uh, but now it has been resolved. So all the centers we visited have started issuing the cards. Uh, we pray that uh, it will continue smoothly as they've started, so that we don't have serious interruptions or disturbances around. You know, when the machines are not functioning well, that is where you have the political parties coming in and then you realize that there will be various challenges and it can lead to all sorts of problems or chaotic situations at the registration center. These are the things we want to avoid. He urged potential registrants against late registration as it may affect their chances of voting in the 2024 general election. We are telling everybody who qualifies to register, either just attain 18 years or was 18 years during the previous registration but did not have the opportunity to register. All of them should come to the centers and register. We should also try to avoid last, last minute. You know, Ghanaians realize that some people will wait and say that, oh, when is two days or during the last day, I'll go and register. And they will come and meet very long queues and they may not be able to register. We pray that everybody comes as early as possible and do the registration. Former Kumasi Mayor, Kojo Bonsu criticized the EC for not allowing some of the constituencies in the Kumasi metropolis to undertake the exercise in their respective areas. But my question to Electoral Commission is that Kumasi metropolis is such a big place. So why do we sort of put six constituencies in one area, in one place? Okay? And I think it's totally wrong because if you go to somewhere like Menshia um, North, you have a place to be able to do the registration. If you go to Bantuma, you have a place to do the registration. If you go to Inshiaesu, there's a place. This is Inshiaesu in a way. So I don't understand why Electoral Commission has put all these um, constituencies together to register here. It encourages a lot of things because the parties don't have money and the young people 
who this time is their first time in voting would have to commute, move from one place to another to go and register. It's not worth it. So you're encouraging the parties to bust people and it can create a problem. So please, the Electoral Commission, listen to what I'm saying in good faith. Meanwhile, the general views of the first-time voters appear to be focused on choosing leaders who are development-oriented. For Orange FM, I'm Fatal Bayaga, Kumasi.